In this video, we're going to be talking about the huge market crash that's happening right now in NBA 2K22, my team. I'm not kidding, guys. This might be the biggest market crash we've seen in months. So I'll be telling you guys how you can make some MT from this and when you guys should be selling and when you guys should be buying your squads. So yesterday, we did get these new Galactic Packs, and this might be one of the best, if not the best, content drop of the year, at least what made the market crash the most. We got Hero LeBron James. We got Hero Kevin Garnett who's the best power forward in the game. Here are Invincible Kevin Garnett as well. We got Dark Matter Hito Turkoglu. We got Invincible Tracy McGrady. We got Invincible LeBron James. And we got arguably, in most people's opinion, the best center, super cheesy card, Taco Fall Dark Matter. And we even got a Dark Matter John Wall. That's like, what, five, six Dark Matters in one pack. And then there's Galaxy Opal Stefan Marbury, some other pretty good Galaxy Opal and Pink Diamond cards. But this pack with the Dark Matters made the market crash like crazy because obviously t Max a big name, LeBron's a big name, Taco's a massive name in 2K, and then even guys like Hugh Turkoglu and John Wall are pretty big names in my team. So if you guys check the market, you can just see from any single card in the game, the market is down like crazy. You look at Ben Simmons, he's ending for, is this one badged out? No, it's not. The, the, uh, ben Simmons is ending for like 275, 250K. You look at Yao Ming, he's a lot cheaper because we got Taco Fall, who's arguably better than Yao Ming. Also, guys, let me know in the comment section down below, who do you guys think the best center in the game is? Is it Yao Ming or is it that new Dark Matter Taco Fall? But yeah, Yao Ming, he's down in price as well because Taco came out. If we look at the new fan favorites or the older fan favorites cards, we look at the Dark Matter Kristaps. He's ending for under 200,000 MT, which is a great price for Kristaps. If we look at Dark Matter Kevin Durant, He's ending for around 230 to 250,000 MT. But the craziest market crash, in my opinion, is going to be for the Zach Levine. This card was pretty expensive for a while. I bought him yesterday for 90,000 MT. And right now, he looks like he's still around the 92 to 90,000 MT range for this dark matter Zach Levine, who's still one of the best point guards in the game. Even if you guys, even if you look at the new takeoff cards as well, you look at Draymond Green, you look at Dr. J, all of these cards are down to like 50,000 MT, 60,000 MT. I think Draymond's going from like 60K right now, which is crazy because like a week ago, he was like 80,000 MT. And then the exact same thing with Dr. J, he's going from 60 to 55,000 MT as well. So these cards are crashed like crazy. My biggest tip for you guys this weekend is if you guys want to buy any of these older cards like Nate Thurman, maybe a Pascal Siakam, you guys always wanted a Chris Stops, maybe you've wanted a Zach Levine. Right now, Saturday and Sunday is probably the best time to do so. Friday was a really good day as well, but I think Saturday and Sunday are going to be the two best times to buy your cards. So if you guys have always wanted a Yao Ming, because Yao Ming is still probably the second best or the best center in the game. If you guys have always wanted this card, buy him this weekend. If you guys have wanted a Ben Simmons, buy him this weekend. If you guys have been looking at Wilt Chamberlain for a while, he's gone down in price like crazy. I think Wilt's going to be a buy now very, very soon, even for his signed version. Is he a buyout right now? I don't think so. But I think Wilt Chamberlain might be a buyout very soon. I think people were saying yesterday his unsigned was a buyout. I do want to check that really quickly. Is this unsigned a bio? I don't think he is, right? I don't think the unsigned Wilt is a bio, but I think he's going to be a bio very, very soon. So if you guys have wanted a Will Chamberlain, maybe a LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball is like 150 to 175. If you guys have wanted a Luka Doncic, now is the best time to buy yourself a Luka Doncic. So if you guys have wanted to buy cards for a while, right now is going to be the best time. Use most of your MT, go through, build your squad right now, because right now is the literally best time to buy your cards right even guys like the newer cards still like even the hero cards are pretty cheap like lebron james Giannis. these guys are down in price like Giannis was like 300k 400k for a while now you can get a Giannis card for around you well you can get one yesterday for like 220 he's gone back in price up a little bit but yesterday there was Giannis's endings for like 220 the 250,000 mt so that's what i would do guys if you want to buy some cards now is literally the best time to do so if you guys wanted to sell some of your cards do not sell right now like i said the market is crashed like crazy one of the biggest market crashes we've seen in a while like look at invincible kg 200,000 mt with six minutes left obviously obviously he's not going to end for that it'll probably end for like 500,000, but still that's super low for a dark matter invincible card so if you guys want to sell any of your cards i would wait till probably monday or tuesday is going to be the best time do not sell over the weekend because look at the market bro penny hardaway for 500,000 mt lebron james for less than a million mt like the market 
is super low. Kobe Bryant for 600K, like this market, like Shaq for like going for like 800K, 700K. You can get yourself like a Scotty Pippen for like 500,000 MT as well. Obviously, Giannis is gonna be super expensive. He's still over 1.1, but that's just Giannis, right? So just wanna give you guys a quick update and a little market talk video talking about the huge market crash. Honestly, guys, this is one of the biggest market crashes we've seen in a long, long time. So take advantage of it use your mt go buy some cards go buy some of these tacos or not tacos go buy some of the yao mings because of taco falls go buy ben simmons go buy zach levine dr j draymond green maybe even a cream old jabbar he's super cheap as well and still a great center go buy some of these older dark matter cards that you guys have always wanted even a luka Doncic, like i talked about obviously luka's still one of the best point guards if not the best point guard on next gen and he's going for way cheaper than he normally does so Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.